watching where I sat still Hanging in the balance, not the life I want to live I want to take it all Hi, in this video I will tell you how you can set up EXNV900 for the game Beam and Geek Right uh, first, you need to make sure that the wire coming from the pedal box is uh, wired up on the back side of the controller. Uh, this one, make sure it's uh, fit in tight. Okay, so the second wire, which is USB, should be plugged in. In the USB port, I have it here on the back side. This one. So, when you plug in, the light will turn on. This one, okay. Alright, so uh, everything is connected. Let's turn on the game Beam NG Drive. Okay, so the game is uh, turned on. Let's go in any map so we can adjust the controller. We are in the game. So let me check if we if this controller is actually working or not. Uh, what you need to do is go to controls and force feedback. You need to uh, click on the plus icon for the new binding if you don't have uh, for this. Let's create a new binding. Now you need to simply move this hand. It will detect and it will show up as a steering wheel. Uh, for your confirmation, if you want to test if the wheel is behaving normal or not, uh, try to move the wheel right side, it will go to the right. Uh, right now, I'm moving this to the right. If I stop, uh, it will go back to the center. Same if we move it to the left side, it will go to the left side. If I gently uh, use it, it will go back to the center point okay so for me what i have tested the linearity uh, value for me 2.7 works best so you can try what uh, works best for you you click apply okay so now we need to uh, bind the keys for the pedal acceleration and for the brake for this, go to controls, bindings, vehicle, and in the throttle, simply click here, new binding, and now uh, press the acceleration pedal to your feet. It will add up as a button one. For the brake, you can simply create the binding here and uh, press the uh, brake button, brake pedal, sorry, for with your feet, it will add up as a button zero. Uh, you can customize uh, any button, for example, the pedal shifters or these buttons. You can customize here with your likings. Uh, for me, I'm just using uh, acceleration or brake. Now simply click on apply and scale forward so we can go back in the game. Okay, so what you need to do is put your uh, steering angle at 900. Click on the program button and the light will start blinking now you need to press the arrow up button Let, let's 
Uh, test the wheel. If I move to the right, as you can see, it starts moving. And if I release it, it will go back to the center. Uh, same for the left side. So this is working perfectly. Now let's uh, throttle a bit. So the car is moving. Now if I press my pre uh, press the brake pedal, it will stop. Or if I press it again, uh, it will go in reverse mode. Let me switch the camera. Uh, I think six. Yeah. So let's drive a bit. Uh, keep in mind, I am not using any drivers. I have simply uh, plug in the USB port, USB cable, and this uh, wheel is working fine. Uh, I'm using Windows 10. So for you, it may vary yeah, if you are on Salmon or Windows 11. Right now, the uh, vibration motor is not working. Uh, it may be uh, because I am not using any drivers. Uh, but uh, in Forza Horizon 4 or 5, uh, the vibration, for example, if I go into dirt or if I hear something, uh, this starts vibrating like crazy so uh, this works uh, the vibration works in Forza version 4 or 5 without drivers uh, but not uh, in dim engine uh, not sure no extension so here it is how so how to set up the wheel this pxn v900 in dim ng drive if you have any questions put them in the comment section I will reply as much as I can. Thanks for watching.